Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Doug White down here in Alabama. Got some errands to run, and so I thought I would uh, get on here and I ain't got any notes or anything. I'm just going to kind of ramble what's been on my mind. I said that I never would talk about <laughs> the end times anymore. But I told a story. I think I, uh, what do you call it? Uh, expound on it a little bit today. Yeah, that's what. That's the word, expound. <clears throat> if y'all can hear it over this road noise, anyway, uh, I was thinking on uh, these very wise men, a lot, a lot smarter than me. They always change this word in the book of uh, Matthew twenty-four those questions there that the disciples ask the Lord well the last question was this and the end of the world and the end of the world but they these people that go off to these seminaries they always change it to uh, the end of the age so to me that's an entirely different meaning brothers and sisters. I think that, the, that they would have known. Uh, they would have known that there was going to be an end of the world. Martha knew that there was a, a last day. And I think sometimes they would call it heaven and earth passing away. So, uh, but when they change that, that's like asking the same question twice. When shall these things be? And then you turn back around and, and the end of in the end of the age, well, you know, uh, there was an end to the uh, to the uh, animal sacrifice, to the uh, the uh, what is the word, the the uh, temple sacrifice. There was an end to that. The temple was torn down. Jesus set up his kingdom uh, during that Roman Empire. God, you know, the God of heaven set up a kingdom that would never pass away and it would destroy all the other. And anything that opposed his, his kingdom, even to this day, will be uh, destroyed. His kingdom will go on forever and ever and ever. But, uh, in God's order, in God's order, you see what I'm saying? You know, it may be a long time. It's going to a far country. The Bible says after a long time. So when they change that word to me, when they change that word end of the age to end of the age instead of end of the uh, world, they always, you know, I speak English. I don't speak Greek. You know, I'm sure they got, they can say, well, that's what it means. That's what it means. You know, I've been hearing that for a long time. But down in Alabama, the end of the world to me means the end of the world. And I'm going to take it like that until uh, God shows me different. And that fits. It doesn't fit asking this, answering the same question again, saying, well, at the end of the age. Yeah, it was the end of the age. It was the end of that age. No more animal sacrifice. Jesus Christ was the, the final sacrifice. What's involved? So uh, that, was the end, that was the end of that. And it made sure I, because one, one, one stone upon another, brothers and sisters. And, uh, he said those were the days of vengeance. So uh, all, uh, all the Old Testament prophets were, were, were avenged there. And their souls, uh, their souls were with him, or with him right now. You know, sometimes it would say, they'll kill you, but not one hair of your head will perish. You ever notice that? They'll lead you around and kill you. But no, but not one hair on your head will perish. Well, brothers and sisters, not one hair on their head is going to perish uh, eternally. Is what I see. But I believe the souls of these people are already in heaven right now, and we're from generation to generation we're populating this heaven out of His elect, the ones He loves, that are born onto this earth, this fallen earth, and in His appointed time, 
the last day, uh, all these things will come to fruition. We'll have a last day. That's the way it works for me. Now look, if I get something wrong, uh, I just get it wrong. This uh, uh, People differ on this, and I don't believe how you believe on this has anything to do with whether... Uh, well, it has something to do with me because uh, if you want peace in this life, uh, you don't want to believe uh, what the, the full predators say, that everything's been fulfilled. And if we just pull, we just left behind that here, and things are just going on as it is. No, I'm not a full preterist. I came on here to say the preterist is an uh, old English word that means past. It's in our past. So certain things are in our past. The uh, what everybody thinks of as the Great Tribulation period, brother, is in our past. Look over there in uh, Revelation at the very end. He's saying, "I come quickly. I come quickly." What do you mean I come quickly? At the very end, Jesus is saying, Behold, I come quickly. He came in judgment. He came, uh, his kingdom was set up during the Roman Empire, according to, uh, well, I got another video on that. It was set up during the Roman Empire. And it's, and it's in heaven right now, and it's going on forever. But bringing all the things, the last enemy hasn't been destroyed yet, brother and sister, which is death. All his enemies will be under his feet in the fullness of time, I believe. But I don't want to be confused with a, a full preterist. I just believe certain things have already taken place uh, if, uh, in Scripture. Matthew 24, and most people won't even look into it. The, the, uh, when he said, this generation shall not pass, that's what he's talking about, this generation. When he says, uh, there'll be some standing here won't taste death till these things be fulfilled. What things? The setting up of his kingdom. The avenging of all of his enemies of the prophets and the apostles and prophets. All that was avenged. <laughs> it's what a king does. He conquers. And he's ruling and reigning from heaven right now, brothers and sisters. And uh, that's my view on the Don't change, you know, these smart and wise men. A lot of people believe it. I'm not going to get mad with you if you don't believe what I'm saying. They've changed this word, and the end of the world, they change it to the end of the age. Some of the people I like the most on the internet change that. They don't see it. Uh, but I say, look, the end of the world means those people were looking for the end of the world also. When the elements will melt with fervent heat. That's what they were, they were asking about. When's it, when is it going to wind everything up? I know this. they want to know when that event was going to happen. And anyway, just want to go uh, get on here and uh, go through it a little bit. I hadn't got any script, any text right here to, uh, to uh, go to, except what comes on my mind. What he was talking about back there, he would say, "This generation, so I'm standing here." He gave you a ballpark figure. Uh, and even Romans and even a revelation would call I come quickly the time is at hand I often wonder well, what do you mean the time is at hand his kingdom has been set up in heaven the, the God of the God that created everything is, has a kingdom brother and sister and anyway just want to get on here and talk a little bit more so what what is it uh, what is the end of the world? It's like a, a, a master gone into a far country. A long time. So it's been a long time. Those early saints that uh, were martyred and they're ruling and reigning with him for this uh, during this thousand year period, brothers and sisters. Those were the souls of them, not the bodies. You notice that over in uh, uh, Roma, uh, Revelation? The souls of these of these people. Not the bodies. And that, brothers and sisters, in my view, is in our future. The bodily resurrection of all God's people. The resurrection. When, uh, when people will be changed, in the, when his people will be changed in the moment of twinkle of an eye, this mortal body will put on immortality on that glad day, brothers and sisters. And uh, 
But anyway, we're talking about a short time. What is this thing that's going to happen in a short time? The end of uh, animal sacrifice, the Jewish economy was, was over with. And now it's Jesus Christ ruling and reigning once for all. But anyway, you got to watch out for all this traffic. <laughs> I'm getting right. I'm getting wound up. Uh, I know I'm forgetting something. And there's another reason. But there's another reason why I believe that the uh, scripture, uh, the, the full preterist or hyper preterist view is wrong. It don't seem right to me <laughs> that God would leave uh, all this hanging. There wouldn't be an end to sin. Uh, uh, there would, uh, everybody, you know, it wouldn't be into anything. I just don't believe, you know, I don't feel right in my spirit. That's the main reason, I guess. Uh, it overthrows the faith of many. And everybody I see that I see on the internet that is a full preterist, uh, they believe the scripture has been fulfilled all the way. They don't seem too happy to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway, it's what you know, it's out there on the internet. Over the pro and the, you know, they make a good case for, for them. Uh, from scripture, they make a good case for it. But what I'm saying is, Christ the first fruit, after that, uh, them that are his, that is coming. If all this happened back in the first century, everything, that, that'd be all, we would all be left out. What are we doing here? Why is there still time? Why is there still time? Why is there still seed time and harvest? Why is the rainbow still up in the sky? Brother says it. Uh, I've been going back and forth with it, <laughs> some of them on the internet trying to show. Martha said that at the last day there would be a resurrection. We're still having days. People still cry. Still, People still die, brother and sister. People still have pain. It would be just one bad joke if we didn't have hope that there is a resurrection of the dead. And I am again it. I'm not one of these <laughs> full predators. Some people ever you just put that word out there to everybody. But actually, everybody that believes that uh, uh, Jesus came the first time is a preterist because that's something that has been fulfilled. But every time the Bible talks about coming in the Bible, it's not talking about the resurrection. He came in power in the first century. He came in the clouds in the first century. He came in judgment of the uh, the wicked, uh, the ones that persecuted his people, the ones that be, were beheaded. But you remember they said, how long, oh Lord, before you'll be a bit. But anyway, I'm just, I got to cut it off now, but just want to make my point. Short time for the first part was for the these things question, a long time for the uh, end of the world question. That's a good way, uh, good way of uh, making it simple. So people can, you don't have to spend two hours to get it to listen to a video. But anyway, I'm gonna go on until my next one here. If I forget something, I'll put it in the column below. Peace and love, Mr. Boy, down here in Alabama.